our costume analysis series. This week we are looking at Brandon Routh's Clark Kent from the movie Superman Returns. I know he was in the crossover for the uh, Crisis on the CW, but we're looking at his Superman Returns look at, as Clark Kent from that movie. So let's have a look at that. Here we move. Here, here is Brandon Routh both as, both as Clark Kent and as Superman. But we're looking at the Clark Kent costume and his look as Clark Kent. And we start with, as we normally do, the glasses. And here we have just some plain black spectacles that uh, have a, a thinner frame towards the bottom, not as bulky as some of the other Clark Kent glasses we've looked at in previous weeks. But nevertheless, just pre pretty much stock standard spectacles. Yeah, it's kind of like the happy medium between the Dean Cain glasses mm -hmm. and the Christopher Reeve ones. Uh, so I, I think it's a nice a nice balance, uh, especially for 2006. Yeah, they're 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 nice. I mean, you know, I don't know uh, everything that went into why they wanted to be you know this certain style. I mean, I think it's it's big enough for his face i'm not saying it would cover you know it's a big disguise but mm. you know i do think you, you know if he takes it takes them off you can tell you can tell the difference that they're you know there's a little bit of a of a you know hide, hiding his face with that but i i really don't know what else to say about this. yeah there isn't much you can say yeah yeah so once, no, no. once again we don't have a, a hat uh with his clark kent which is a shame yeah. because it's always like the the fedora but we do move on to looking at the suit. And here they gave him a very kind of, it's both modern and retro in that mm. it's, you know, it's a three-piece suit. It's very drab, but because it's a brownie gray, he's even wearing a brown tie. It's a, you know, very light blue uh, business shirt underneath. Um, but, and and he wears an, you know, uh, an overcoat. And sometimes he's got a, you know, uh, a, a nice Look about it. They're pleated pants. It's a great look for Clark Kent. I really liked this version of the of the suit, uh, the, but the fact that it has a button up um, vest underneath is just it sets it off for me. Yeah, I'll agree with that completely. I love the three piece aspect of it. Uh, it's just it, it, it's very much trying to be the modern version of what Christopher Reeve wore. Mm. Uh, in Superman the movie, so but uh, and it, it suited it. It suited him very well. Uh, that is a um, terrible <laughs> thing. Intended. But no, it's yeah. just. It, it, I, I think also the reason the vest looks so good is just because of Brandon Routh's frame. Mm -hmm. You know, he is he is ninety percent torso, uh, yeah. or, or just seems like that. I mean, he's got that long swimmer's body, so the vest just tapers nicely on him. Mm. I like I like the three piece suit. I think it looks a little baggier on him, which mm -hmm. I think is appropriate. Um, yeah, I mean, he really that really is just a good style, yeah, for him. You know, I mean, it's not as conservative as, as you know um, Christopher Reeve, and might not be quite as it's not as casual as as Dean Kane. But it, like you said, it's kind of an amalgam, if I can say that, of, you know, <laughs> of both. It's a little of a modern style, but it's still a little bit, you know, conservative enough. And I really do love the, the vest. I, I love that. I really, yeah. just really it's love a great it. look. And then we uh, have a look at the uh, the hair and the face. Um, you know, he's definitely got the cleft chin. Uh, he had the great look. Uh, they obviously, we chose Brandon Routh to try to mimic the Christopher Reeve version of the character. The hair was a difference in this film because as opposed to Christopher Reeve, who had more kind of a wavy hairstyle for both his Clark Kent and his Superman, uh, Brandon Ralph's hair here was very straight. Um, and if we look, um, the part is on both sides the same, uh, whether it's Superman or Clark yeah. Kent, they just gave him more of a swept back look as Superman and did that very uh, obvious fake S spit curl uh on his forehead it was not uh you it, i mean with christopher reeve because he had that wavy look the the, the fall lock kind of just fell on his forehead uh but he uh brandon ralph's hair is very straight and they brought it forward for his clark kent and swept it back for his superman yeah this is the only kind of misstep 
for the look for me is that he's got kind of emo hair <laughs> for <laughs> lack of a better term. Uh, just the way that it's like kind of in his face. It's, it's sort of like the hair that Jordan had in the bizarro world mm -hmm. uh, on Superman and Lois. <laughs> and, and I get it that, you know, they're, they're trying to make it more what it would be a contemporary version of the, of the Christopher Reeve look. Right. Uh, but it's just, I, I think it's where the CW crisis version got it right is that it looked more natural. Mm -hmm. And here it looks it it looks like a wig, <laughs> frankly, mm. uh, which I, I think is kind of a problem too. I mean, it's not as it's not as bad looking as that like the CG shot of him flying off at the end of the movie. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but it's just like I said, it's it's the one it's the one area where I think it it just lets the whole look uh, down a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I think in some of these different photos, I mean, the, you know that. Uh, that right there doesn't look to me doesn't look as quite as bad when you when you show the other one where he where we just see uh his his face um you know that looks kind of like the wig you mm. know the 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 other the other picture where we just see just seems a little wavier um i think looks looks a little more natural i mean it's it's hard to say i mean it is it's definitely, yeah, that one looks up to me a little more natural. I mean, to me anyway, but um, the other photos look a little more sculpted, a little more, you know, they wig like. Um, yeah, it's certainly the, the least, I think, of all the uh, of the whole look. Mm -hmm. So overall, what are we giving this Clark Kent look for Brandon Routh? I mean, other than the hair, I think they pretty much got everything else right. I love the suit. I love the look. Uh, so me, it's going to be like an 8 out of 10. Yeah, I'll give it an 8 too. I'll, uh, I'm going to say 7. <laughs> okay, so that's okay. I was that's about good. to say, Mark's going to Mark's gonna say 7 because Mark always goes one lower than, than, than us. Yeah, no. I, it's I was, okay. I was it keeps it real. It's fine. I was thinking 8, it's but fine. you know what? The it's hair, it, the hair just set it off a little bit more. But other than that, it's a great look. So there you have it. That is our Brandon Routh, Clark Kent analysis of his costume. And not a lot to look. Whenever there's not a hat involved in the Clark Kent look of the of the character, it just it, there's something there's less to talk about. Um, but uh, we now look next week to Henry Cowell's to finish off this series of costume analysis of Clark Kent, uh, which will bring us right up to the shirtless picture. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>